Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. So I'm working my way through exploration of 7.3 and someone in my chat last night clued me into this absolutely ridiculous quake cheese method for one of the paradox paths in 7.3.1. So the path in question is this one here that starts with She-Hulk. It's got a few nodes on it called paradox block entropic impairment, quantum immunity, and whittled down. But the important one here is this entropic impairment. So this says that uh, for every paradox charge that you have on yourself, you're going to gain 30% increased debuff duration. So I'm going to show you exactly how this works. Let's take a look. Okay, so the basic idea here is that on this lane, you want to build yourself up to at least three paradox charges by parrying. This is going to remove the debuff immunity that the defender is going to start out with. Now for best results, you probably want to build yourself up to about 5 or 6 Paradox. So from here, you need to start the Aftershock timer by charging a heavy. Now you can do this by either quaking using your method of choice, or just kind of parry and charge the heavy there. Once Aftershock triggers, this is where the magic happens. So the duration of your stun is going to be increased by the Paradox charges, but also the duration of your Concussion. And the Concussion duration is actually going to be longer than the 10 second Aftershock timer. This essentially means that following the first Aftershock, Quake cannot be hit at all. And the best part is that you don't even have to be a good Quake player to do this. Just keep charging your Heavy while the Defender is stunned and let Quake evade everything else for you automatically. When the Defender isn't stunned, you can actually take your hands off your phone completely and it won't even matter. One thing you do have to pay attention to though is that you don't want to release your Heavy on your own. Always let the Defender try to hit you and Quake's Evade will cancel the Heavy. Now, this does result in some pretty long fights as you can see here, but in my opinion, it's really a small price to pay for an easy path. So one of the best parts about this cheese method is that once you have your Paradox Charges ramped up in that first fight, you're pretty much set for the rest of the path because the only way you could lose them is if you throw a special attack and since you're just going to be charging heavy the whole time, no specials needed, no Paradox lost. Uh, and the other good thing is that there are, are there are a few kind of annoying fights in this path. So you got a Mordo, you got a Modok, you got a Mephisto, and you got a Void. Void is always annoying. Uh, all of these champions, Quake is going to make ridiculously easy by this method. You'll shut off, you know, you don't have to deal with Mordo's Evade, you don't have to deal with Modok's Auto Block, you'll shut off uh, Mephisto's Aura and his Regen, and uh, none of Void's debuffs are going to apply also. The one caveat to this method on this path is this Mangog. So Mangog has a form of passive power gain that Quake cannot shut off. Uh, so he is the only champ on this path that you can't use this method for. However, uh, if you're going to be using Quake for the other fights, you can basically bring four champs to deal with just Mangog, uh, and he shouldn't give you too hard of a time doing that. Alright folks, that's going to do it for this one. If this method helped you, let me know by hitting the like button and sub, of course, if you haven't already. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again next time.